Oh, hello! Welcome back to my Chanel. Are you excited? I'm excited. It's October, bitches! <laughs> and when I call you bitches, I mean that in a loving way. <laughs> I am thrilled it is the month of October. Spooky season is upon us. Halloween time. The season of pumpkin spice in literally everything. I have yet to partake of the pumpkin spice myself, but don't worry. It's coming. <laughs> now today's video is the haul that we've all been waiting for. The fall haul, the Halloween haul from Shein. So without further ado, oh by the way this video is not sponsored, so hey. <laughs> and although this video is not sponsored, I do have a discount code from Shein. You can use the code VESSELOBLOOD15 to save 15% off your purchases. So go crazy in the Halloween section courtesy of me. <laughs> so without further ado, may I present to you my fall Halloween haul from Shein. First up, we have the Halloween pumpkin print lettuce trim PJ set for $10. I got the color multicolor, which is basically just black with orange pumpkins, as you can clearly see here in the picture, and I got size medium. You know what I was missing in my life? More Halloween pajamas, clearly. <laughs> But I actually didn't really have any summery or spring Halloween pajamas, so these babies are perfect. They fit me just exactly how I like them. I was worried that the bottoms would be a little tight on me, but they are perfect. They are tight enough to stay on, but loose enough so I feel comfortable, which is very important. As you get older, those of you who may be younger watching my channel, you like things that are comfortable. But I didn't want to have to choose between being comfortable and looking spooky, so now... I can do both. <laughs> I love this set. I love their PJ sets. This is so comfortable. It is really thin swimsuit type material. It's not super shiny, but it is a little shiny. And the lettuce hem isn't my personal favorite, but I just love the print on this so much. I had to get it. So I did, here it is. I bought this with my own money, guys. <laughs> All of my 10 hard earned dollars. <laughs> now this is a really cute little detail, which you can take off if you want. There is a white bow in the front of the middle of the shorts. The waist is elastic, which is great for stretchiness and comfort. These are not see-through, which is very nice. And honestly, I've worn this top as a crop top by itself, not just as a PJ top because I like my crop tops and I like my spooky tops, so why not? <laughs> the only bad thing is this does not have adjustable straps on the top, so if you want to adjust it, you're going to have to cut them up and do it yourself. The print is what really got me though. I love how orange the pumpkins are, I love their faces, they seem really excited and also very spooky and scary. I love it. Hey, I got some fun Halloween pickup lines, so tell me if they'd work on you. Are you a pumpkin? Cause I'm looking to smash. <laughs> no. <laughs> Next up is the Shein Elastic Waist Spiderweb Print Leggings for $9. And I believe I got mine in size medium. What more could you ask for in a pair of leggings? The print is amazing. These are very stretchy. And I'm not quite sure what material this is made out of, but it is very comfortable and nice and soft too. The only thing is that if you stretch these, they become see-through. So you don't want to be bending over with these at the gym everyone will see what kind of underwear you are or are not wearing. <laughs> so just to let you know, these are see-through and stretched. But I love the print. Oh, I actually got these in a size small. Would you look at that? I got these in a size small. I love how they fit and snatch my waist. The waistband is nice and stretchy. And I just love how lightweight these are. These are not going to keep you warm. So sorry, but the print is just so adorable. And uh, these go very, very well with my next item that I'm gonna show you. The only thing I would change about these would be how uh, see-through they get when you bend over. I wish they were a little more opaque. But thankfully, the only person I'm bending over around is my boyfriend. I oh, thank you. <laughs> Next up, we have the Skull Print Drawstring Hooded Sweatshirt for $16. And I got this in size small. Now with this hoodie, cropped hoodie, whatever you want to call it, the size small is still, excuse me, quite large. <laughs> I mean, the shoulders kind of fit well on me, but this is not a form-fitting hoodie at all. It is very roomy and breathable and perfect for dancing. I always see these dancing videos of girls wearing cropped hoodies like this and it's really cool looking and then they always wear these really cool looking bras underneath because whenever they lift up their arms you can see what they're wearing underneath so this is one of those things <laughs> but I absolutely love the print the hood has a whole skeleton on it look at that it's huge I love big hoods like this it's one of my favorite things the print is good quality so we got the skeleton face on the hood we have drawstrings for the hood itself and then we have arms with wait for it, 
thumb holes. Ah! My younger emo self is screaming, <laughs> but I love sweatshirts and hoodies with the thumb hole option. It's just a nice feeling to have your thumb sticking through a hole. I don't know why. But on the arms themselves, we have the bone print of the arms, you know, because skeletons have bony arms. And then on the chest piece of it, we have the ribs. I love this print. It has the little neck bones there, the big old thing in the middle. I never passed biology, so I don't know what that is. And then we have some ribs. Who doesn't love a good bunch of ribs? And I love wearing this along with the leggings I just showed you. That outfit is just, ugh, because the leggings cinch in my waist and make me look even more snatched. And it just, it's a good combination, as you can see. <laughs> And I believe we have another pickup line. So what's a nice ghoul like you doing in a crypt like this? Not even close. Oh, come on, that was a good one. Next up is something I wear all the time. This is my Halloween self-tie night robe for $16. And I got this in size small. I freaking love this robe. Oh my goodness, I wear it all the time. And whenever I shower, I don't know if you can relate, I never want to put clothes on right away. So this. <laughs> I mean, this is technically clothes, but you know what I mean, like not actual clothes that you have to button up or zip on or whatever. This requires minimal effort and you still look spooky and cute. So I love it. <laughs> the print is phenomenal. It's black with pumpkins with different faces. Some are happy to see you. Some are undecided. Some are just evil looking. I mean, that guy looks like he wants to kill you right? But I love the variety. It comes with a tie sash, obviously. And it is the perfect length. Covers my butt. Everything I don't want people to see if I'm walking around my house. And I love it. The only thing is that this is better for warmer weather because it is on the thinner side when it comes to the material. But I love how it fits. I love the big old square sleeves. I love the print. And it's just a very comfy robe. So I'm a fan. They just need to make this in fleece for the winter time. That's all I'm saying. Next up is the Shein Spider Print Velvet Crop Tube Top and Skirt Set for $13. And I got size medium. This is one of my favorite purchases from Shein that is spooky. Now, I don't like spiders in real life, but on print and in jewelry, I love them because they just look fantastic. Look at the print of this. I don't know what kind of a spider this is, maybe a tarantula or a wolf spider, but you can see the little fangs there and the body and just all the legs doing their thing. And I love it. And it's very comfy. This is velvet, so this is better for cooler weather, not the summer. So it's perfect for fall. So the top is just a bandeau top. There is no zips or any way to get into this other than pulling it on your head, which is absolutely fine. And then the skirt has a zip in the back. Now this is the perfect length of skirt. It does have a little bit of stretch to it. I will say the top also has some stretch to it as well, but it is a perfect spooky set. Look how cute this is. I just love it. Want to check my pants for a treat? You're not even wearing pants. Touche. Next up we have the Shein SXY Spiderweb Print Crisscross Tie Back Cami Top and Panty Set with Push Buckle Tee for $15 and I got size medium. This is such a fun set. I love it and it is metallic in the print. Look at this glorious bunch of cobwebs and spider shit. I love it. Holy shit, look at all the ties. This is the only, only bad thing about this one is uh, if not stored properly, the top will get into tangles much like the cobweb depicted on the clothing itself. Holy crap. All right, give me a second here. <laughs> so due to the crisscrossy nature of the top, there are quite long ties. Uh, these could be cut, but you know, depending on how you want to wear it, crisscross it. I like to keep them long to keep my options open. You know what I'm saying? So my only gripe with this outfit, I mean, I have several, but the first one is that the middle of the top is kind of awkward. It's just literally sewn together in the middle. So it's like a crisscross thing, but I feel like it's not super flattering. I almost wish this had molded cups or something. So it was able to go further into the clivage area, but uh, this kind of just sits on top of my boobs in a fairly unattractive manner. So, I don't know. I like the crisscross options. I love that the bottom ones, the bottom ties, have a lot of length so you can crisscross it a multitude of ways. The top ones are shorter, obviously it goes around the back of your neck like a halter tie. And then the bottoms crisscross around your body however you see fit in a variety of ways. So the top, not my favorite. I wish it were constructed a little bit better, but I will say this is double lined so it's not just one layer of fabric and this is not see-through at all. So on to my second gripe which I knew this going into it, but really these just kind of feel like a diaper with how high waisted they are. It's just, 
it's too much. I get that a lot of people like it because it snatches in your waist, but it really, to me, just feels like I'm wearing a diaper. So what I like to do is I just roll down the top to make it more of a regular bikini. So uh, that's pretty much it. Then my favorite part of this whole outfit here is the top. But I just love how you can literally add this to any outfit because it's a standalone piece. You could add this to a little black dress to spice it up and the sleeves fit me perfectly. This is also nice and stretchy. This is my favorite part of the whole thing. I honestly just bought it for this. <laughs> Next up, we have the skull and butterfly print oversized tee for $12, and I got the biggest size possible, which is an XL. The reason I got an XL is because I want to make a DIY out of this because I freaking love the print. Oh my gosh, it's so good, and I love monarch butterflies. It's hard to find cute clothing that has a good print like this on it with the skulls and the monarch butterflies. So what I'm thinking is, and help me out, tell me what you think I should do. I'm thinking this will either be a dress, like a bodycon dress that I cut up and make it look really good, or a two-piece set where I have like a little crop top and a skirt. So I'm not sure which one to do, but whenever I do that, I will make it into a video. So let me know what you would like to see, dress or two-piece set. I'm conflicted, I wanna do both. This shirt is humongous. I could fit probably three of myself in here and it is also very, very stretchy, which is perfect for a DIY. But yeah, this is, uh, this is a big ass shirt. <laughs> and it's a shame that this is a little too short for me to just wear this by itself without altering it. And it's nice and soft too. I really like the material that this is made out of. Next up, we had the Shein Mock Neck Halloween Print Sheer Mesh 2-in-1 Dress for $14. What size did I get? I don't know. We're gonna find out in a second. And I got this in a size medium. I don't think I've ever really seen a dress like this. So of course I was intrigued and this fits me perfectly. Now this does come in two parts. First part is the mesh, which is the green skeleton printed on it, which is fantastic, but very see-through. So they thoughtfully provided a small black slip dress, also see-through, but when you put them together, you can't see your bits and pieces, so that's good. The underdress is really flimsy, really cheap feeling. It's not an amazing, you know, piece. It's just a little black dress to help uh, add a little bit of modesty to your mesh completely see-through dress. <laughs> but I absolutely love how this fits. This is a bodycon dress, which is my shit. I love that. I will wear bodycon dresses all day, every day. <laughs> and this is a little bit of a mock neck or turtleneck, whatever you want to call it, comes up just to here. This is really good quality mesh. It is very soft, nice and stretchy. And one of my favorite things, the arms also have thumb holes. So love that. I do wish the little dress that came with it was a little bit better in terms of quality, but I mean, it gets the job done. It's just not very fancy. And these straps are not adjustable, which pfft, not a fan. It is scary how good I look in this dress. I look better. We're the same person. Or are we? Next up, we have the Shein Mock Neck Mesh Top without bra for $6, and I got size medium. So this is a very cute top. I love anything with spiderwebs, as I've already mentioned. I think it looks so cool. And the fact that this is a mesh shirt just looks good with anything. I could wear this with a black bra underneath, or I could wear this with a crop top on top of it. I mean, the options are really endless with this kind of a shirt. And I love that it's black because that goes with everything. And what's really nice about the print is that the mesh itself is quite see-through, but the little spider webs on top are really soft. They almost feel like velvet. Very stretchy, nice to put on, and it looks good too. Next up, we have the Shein Mock Neck Spiderweb Print Sheer Mesh Bodysuit without lingerie for $8. And I got a size medium in this as well. Now this is the exact same thing as that last shirt I just showed you. This is a bodysuit, and I love the material, of course. It is the classic Shein cobweb material that you see in several things now, which is nice. They have widened their variety. I think they also have a dress in the same material, but it's really comfortable. The mesh is stretchy, and we have the nice velvety cobwebs on top, which looks fantastic. And I appreciate that they have this as a bodysuit because if you want to tuck it into pants, it will stay tucked in forever. And this has convenient snaps around the crotch, so when you go to the bathroom, you can just unsnap and go. <laughs> but this is also nice and stretchy and looks great. Next up, we have the Shein Spiderweb Print Sheer Mesh Biker Shorts without panty. Ooh, scandalous. For $6. And I got size extra small. Now, I got size extra small because I knew these would, excuse me, these would be stretchy. Now, I do have a confession to make about these shorts. 
these were an impulse buy and I have no idea how to style them other than just pairing them with the bodysuit I just showed you and slapping a corset belt on top and calling it a day because how does one wear see-through mesh cobweb biker shorts? I mean, you could wear them under a dress in case your dress flies up and then there's a fun surprise. But other than that, I really don't know how to style these. So if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. I would love to hear because uh, I'm kind of stumped. I mean, I love them. They're the same Shein cobweb material, which is very stretchy. Mesh has a nice elastic waistband. Also, these are super high waisted, like really, they're up there. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. And I'm glad I listened to the size chart and got an extra small because these fit me just right. And normally I'm a medium when it comes to bottoms, so they're super stretchy. <sighs> Fine, go ahead. Wanna get tangled up in my spider web tonight? That's not bad. Thank you. Next up, we have the Shein Drop Shoulder Skull Print Drawstring Hoodie for $15, and I got size medium. They have this print in a variety of things, but I really love the hoodie. They have these in pants as well, I think, and maybe a shirt. But there's just so much going on in this hoodie, and I love how long it is. I absolutely love wearing this as a hoodie dress. The only design flaw, the only one, is that this does not have a pocket. <laughs> like, I want to go out and wear this as a dress, but I have nowhere to put my stuff. And I know I could probably make one myself, but then it would cover up the print, which defeats the whole purpose. <laughs> but the hood is amazing. It's a nice big hood. And the print, there's just so much to look at. There's skulls everywhere in different styles. There's cacti. Skulls with cacti coming out of their eyeballs. I mean, it's just a really cool looking print. It's very funky. This is on the more lightweight side of things when it comes to hoodies, but it's one of my favorites. Next up is the Halloween all over graphic tie side bikini swimsuit for $12. And I got size small. Who buys a bikini in October? Me. <laughs> You're looking at her. <laughs> this is a really cute suit, but I will say this is not super flattering on my body type. I have a smaller chest, so I feel like bigger chests look better with this type of top. This is a very comfortable top, though. It's interesting in the construction because it has one big string that goes through the entire top and also makes up the straps, so it is very adjustable, which is nice. I love the cobwebs and the pumpkins and the various Halloween-y things that are on the print itself. It's not my favorite bikini I've ever worn, just because, like I said, I feel like it doesn't really flatter my body type as well as some other styles, but I've worn it. It's cute. Next up is the Skull and Letter Graphic Crop Tank Top for $7. You can get this in, I think, orange or black. I got this in black and I got size medium. I had this shirt in purple as well, but of course I wanted it in the traditional black, but look, it looks like the logo of a death metal band and I love it. <laughs> but it has the word eternal in spooky font with some skulls at the bottom there. And it's just a very cute ribbed tank top is a little on the see-through side. If they don't make this in orange, they need to because I need an orange top like this. Okay, this is the best one. Are you Harry Potter? No, because I'd let you slither in to my chamber of secrets. <laughs> okay, that is a good one. <laughs> I know, because you're a nerd. Hey! And last but not least, we have the Shein Skull and Floral Print Crop Tank Top for $5, and I got size small, because I got small titties. I love crop tops, I love skulls, and I don't really have a lot of lilac or purple, so I just love the print on it. It's an all-over print on the front and back as well. In the front, we got a nice little skull here with some roses and a heart. It reminds me of the Virgin Mary or the Sacred Heart in Catholic imagery. And then we have two skeleton hands coming up on either side of the skull, a heart with a crown on the top and the back with more skeleton hands. So it's just a cute little screen print to top, nice and lightweight. This has a higher neck than I would usually prefer. I like purple though. I like this one. So that is it for my Halloween Shein haul. What did you think? I know what I think. I think I have a problem and that I need to stop buying things from Shein. <laughs> but seriously though, I love their Halloween collection. They really killed it this year. And I'm also excited to see what happens for their Halloween sale when things get even cheaper. Also, fun exciting news, I just got hired at Spirit Halloween for the first time. I have wanted to work at Spirit Halloween for years. It's been kind of on my bucket list of spooky things to do, but it, things never lined up or always had other things happening. But this year, the stars aligned and I just got hired. So I'm excited to start my shift next week. It's gonna be my first experience in retail, so I'm a little scared, but I've been told good 
things that you get to meet a lot of really cool people that work there and you're around Halloween stuff all day. I mean, it's gonna be a fun time. But I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine, or maybe something else. Oh, <laughs> uh, very inappropriate. Skeletons and shivers down your spine. <laughs> bless me. Thank you. You're welcome. I have blessed myself. Let us begin. Halloween hall. <laughs> Forgot my words for a second there. What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> oh, look at all the lonely pumpkins. What freaking size did I get? I don't know. Is that more foundation? That is. Why is there foundation everywhere? I dropped one bottle of foundation and now it's on my camera strap, my rug. What is going on today? It's just kind of cut right across the middle there. That was a satisfying sound. <laughs> You're welcome. I knew. And then the bottom ones crisscross around your body in whatever manner deems you the most pleasure. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Try it again. Take 1500,000 too. Now I have a confession to make. These were a bit of an impulse. I will say I am tempted to get the matching pant. Pant. Uh. You're welcome. We're dead soon. We're dead soon. We're dead soon. We're dead soon. <laughs>